and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are back um, today for part two of my fall decor haul. I um, completed, um, already posted part one, which I will link um, in the description box below. Um, but I'll be bringing you today the second part of my fall decor haul. There are are a lot of things but as i mentioned in my first video um we have in the past few months really more than a few six or seven months ago we moved into our new home and i've not ever decorated for fall and so this is my opportunity to um, just deck my home out and make it all cozy for fall so hence the massive amounts of fall decor so i'm looking so forward to decorating not quite ready to decorate yet but but um we're almost there we are almost there so if this is your first time watching welcome if you have watched before um thank you for coming back if this is your first time um, or if you have watched my other videos and you have not subscribed, I would um, like for you to click that subscribe button. Also click the notification button so you'll know when I am uploading a new video. And also if you like today's content, um, today's video, if you will click like. So my name is Melanie Floyd. I am a working wife, mom of three, um, to a junior in college, junior in high school, and a third grader. And I love uh, decorating my home. I love homemaking. Um, I love fashion, cleaning, lifestyle, inspiration, all the things. I love it and those are the things that I'll be sharing on my channel. So if that interests you, Go ahead and click that subscribe button, honey. It's not, it's free. It's not gonna hurt you. Just go ahead and subscribe so that we can do this thing together. And so I'm so excited. I'm going to jump in um, to sharing um, with you a uh, part two of our fall decor haul. As I mentioned before, I shop everywhere. If there are cute things, if there are bargains, I'm getting it if I like it. And so the uh, places that I shopped for my fall decor included Dollar Tree, Roses, Target, Walmart, Home Goods, um, and Hobby Lobby. And so I shared most of the things I got from uh, most of the stores in part one. Today, I'm going to finish up sharing with you the things that I picked up from Target, a few things that I picked up from Home Goods and then and ross i i didn't say ross i got some things from ross but i shared that in the last video um so today we're sharing the rest of the things that i picked up from target from home goods and then um, i picked up quite a few things from hobby lobby because they had a sale and then they had 75 percent off of their spring shop stuff and i'm a sucker for a good clearance sale so yeah I love to shop. I shop anywhere. So we don't judge each other for where we shop, what we purchase. We get what we get. We like what we like. So I just want to share with you today what I bought um, just to inspire you. It might help you, you know, pick out some things that you think might be good for your home. So I'm going to share. I'm going to start today by finishing since I left off in my other video. Um, with what I got from Target's um, dollar spot. And I'm gonna just show you the rest of the things that I picked up from Target. This isn't necessarily a fall item, but um, it is a fall scent. So last year, I'm a little late to the party, so don't judge me. But last year I discovered Mrs. Myers, and I know a lot of you have been using Mrs. Myers for a, a long time. But when we first moved here, I picked up this acorn spice fragrance um, clean day multi-surface cleaner and i absolutely love it and it, i used it pretty much every day to clean my kitchen um and it lasted a long time i also picked up the acorn spice dish soap now i have not ever used the dish soap but i'm very excited because i think these smell absolutely amazing I want to try, I think it's apple cider, the apple cider scent. Um, I want to try that as well, but, but, but what better way to 
um, go into fall with your house smelling like fall. And this acorn spice right now is my favorite. Um, so I went ahead and picked those up while I was at Target. What else I picked up from Target that I left out of the dollar spot from the last time were these fun pillows. They are a little bit more colorful than than I typically go for, um, but these were $5. I love the little tassel detail, um, and I am going to use these actually on my front porch. I shared a harvest sign that I got from another store in the last video, and so I am going, and, and a wreath, and it does actually go with the wreath that I, that I showed in the last video, but these will go on my front porch and my rocking chairs, and so I just thought these were fine. They were um, fun. I was looking, I've been looking on Amazon for some pillow covers and I'll pay more for pillow covers than I did for, than I paid for two of these. And so I think these will be just fine and will look very cute in um, the rocking chairs on my front porch. So I, I grabbed those. I also from the dollar spot grabbed this little throw it is only actually 40 by 60 so it actually is a little smaller than the regular size throw which is about I think 50 by 60 so it's gonna be it's be small I really didn't get this for us to to cozy up under it really is for decor purposes and I will probably throw it across the bench that I have here in my family room along with some pillows but it feels really really soft it is it is a wool blend well it says 100% polyester but it feels a little like wool but not itchy and scratchy like wool so I think this is going to be really cute um to decorate with so I was excited to find this for only five dollars I think those are all the items that I picked up from the um, dollar spot. Um, and so moving on to some a few other things that I picked up from Target um, in the Hearth and Hand uh, collection. Um, they had this whole little collection on clearance at my Target. Um, and this one is a cream bowl and it had been marked down to $4.19. Um, I think it is just precious and I will use it somewhere in my kitchen decor. It really isn't a fall item. These items I think have been there all summer, but um, with that rich cream color, I think it's going to blend right in for what I want to do in my kitchen for fall. And so I picked that up. I thought that was very cute. I also found this um, hearth and hand throw. Actually, almost looks like the little throw I just showed you. I don't know where I just threw it, um, but the little throw that I just showed you from the dollar spot. And this was actually on clearance for $14. The regular price was $30. I love how it feels. Um, and I love the pumpkin colored stripe here. Um, it is very neutral. It's not really busy, which I love, but it does add just a little bit of color on my neutral. It'll add a little bit of color on my neutral colored furniture and decor. And the size of this, I believe is 50 by 60. It is 50 by 60. So it's, it's a regular size throw, you know. <laughs> uh, your girl is tall. I have some long legs and some girth. And so regular throws don't cover me the way I want them to cover me anyway. But the kids will enjoy cozying up under this on our couch in the fall in front of the fireplace um, while we're watching movies. And so this is going to be so pretty um, in my family room. So I thought this was a great buy for $15. Um, so you can check your local target in the clearance section a lot of the things that are on sale from spring and summer would work beautifully in your home um, for fall Other items that i saw I, I just thought were so cute for my kitchen i know i bought some kitchen towels um, that i showed you from ross and they're really kind of for everyday use they're neutral but i thought that these kitchen sack towels uh, flower sack towels for the kitchen were very cute. So they are um, dish towel size, not really dish cloth, um, more for drying dishes, but I will am planning on using these in my kitchen to go along with my fall decor. So I picked up two of these. They had been marked down to $2.79 each. So I thought these were really, really cute. So the last couple, two things I picked up from Target, um, which again are not fall items, 
cookbook stand and I thought it was so pretty and beautiful. I love the gold tone um, of the bar that hold, actually holds the book. The wood is pretty and natural. The bar in the back to hold the book is also that gold, muted gold as well. This was not on sale, but the regular price is $19.99, which I thought is very reasonable for how, how nice this stand is. And then the last thing that I picked up from Target was a cookbook to go on the stand. Uh, Joanna Gaines um, cookbook, Magnolia Table. I love HGTV. I love all things <laughs> decorating and home making, DIY, makeovers, all of that stuff. Um, and so I flipped through and I love the recipes that are in here. And so I'm looking forward to trying some of these. And I actually in my Amazon cart have um, Aisha Curry's cookbook that I am purchasing. And I also have a cookbook, um, an AIP cookbook, Autoimmune Protocol. Um, nope, I got one more thing that I bought from Target. Um, this one was a re recent purchase, which is why I forgot um these stems oh my gosh look how beautiful these stems are and how big they are and these are called um brown y'all i i don't <laughs> salal salal leaves but they it's a leaf spray and it's called an extra large stem and i did look online um and they do have them online i'm not sure if they're you have to pick them up or if you can order them to have them shipped. But I picked these up out of the store and the color is gorgeous. This copper color is so pretty. And these were $9.99 a piece and I picked up two of them. So I'm very, very excited to use these. Are these not so pretty? I think that they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and will fit right in with everything. So that is, I promise for real, that's the last thing that I got from Target. And so the last um, place that I went was Hobby Lobby. And I do have quite a few items from Hobby Lobby. Um, again, I did get some pumpkins. I'm not gonna show you the myriad of pumpkins I got. So I'm going to um, just kind of show you one or two of them so the first one i picked up is this natural pumpkin i have lots of elements like this in my home now just because i love it i know that it might just be a trend right now um and if it is i'm gonna ride it all the way because i love the feel i get and the lightness um, that I feel with having natural elements in my house like this. Um, and so when I saw the pumpkins, um, much like this one that I, I found at Target, um, this one's a little darker um, and a little bit more moody than this one. Um, but I picked this one up and it was, the original price is $19.99, but you know right now Hobby Lobby has all of their fall decor um 40 percent off so i believe i paid around 11 dollars um for this guy um keeping in the theme of pumpkins i also picked up these colored ones they were 4.99 a piece they're plastic really? um, the colors are so rich in these this one's a very deep um lost my train of thought orange uh rust color um, and they were $4.99 and they were 40% off. So I picked up several of those. This pumpkin I really loved from Hobby Lobby. Um, this one is a faux leather pumpkin. Look how cute. The color is so rich. I love this pumpkin. And how much was this? So the original price on this one was $21.99. Of course, with 40% off, so I think I paid about $12, 12 or $13, <coughs> excuse me, for this guy, and I'm very excited to have him. So I might even go pick up another one of these. Um, I don't need to, but I might pick up another one just because I like it so much. And it is, um, it's plush, but the fabric is a beautiful brown faux leather beautiful 
things I'm gonna share with you from Hobby Lobby. This little uh, white pumpkin, medium sized pumpkin is nine, he was $9.99. It's 40% off and I like how the stem looks very um, natural. It is a brownish green color and has the little sprouts coming out. So it just could, looked kind of natural to me <laughs> with that stem. A lot of the ones. Um, also, I picked up two of these guys and they were $14.99 at Hobby Lobby and 40% off. Um, so I think these, I think these were maybe $8, I'm not sure. It's like paper mache. I am not going to paint these pumpkins, at least I don't think I am. If I do, it'll I will paint them a cream or an almond color, but I really like the natural look of um of these pumpkins. I bought two of them and I think they're going to work with what I am planning to do. So we'll see. I'm not planning on painting them, but they were in the craft um, section at Hobby Lobby and they are meant for you to decorate or paint or do something for them, from, for, to them. But I really, I kind of like them. I like the color. I like them as they are. So yeah, we'll see what I do with these. The last pumpkin thing I got was um, this little bag of fall pumpkins and it, it just has a lot of pumpkins and then there are some gourds in there, like some little squash, um, some other gourds down here, some tiny little pine cones, if you can see those. And so this little bag was um, $7.99 and of course 40% off. Um, and I will probably put these in a bowl in the kitchen, um, or maybe on my entry table. It probably won't go on my entry table, um, or in a bowl like this, um, that I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. This was in a part of the spring shop, um, clearance, and this little bowl was $11.99 and 75% off. So I only paid a couple of dollars for this. Um, my daughter was with me and she was like, mama, what are you gonna do with that? I said, mm, I don't know, but it's cute and it's 75% off and um, and it matches our decor. And so we will definitely be using this somewhere this fall. Um, a couple of other items. Uh, couple of other items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby are these natural jute like balls um, that I'll probably be using in a bowl or a vase, or sometimes I like to just sit these as uh, one thing. Uh, so I thought they were cute, they were $6.99, and when I bought these, table decor uh, was 50% off, so each one was 50% off of $6.99, and then I saw these cream rope ones that I thought were very cute. So I picked up four. Um, well, two of each. So I have a, a total of four of the decorative balls. Another item from the spring shop were these cute gold containers. Look at these. I think they are so cute. So they were $5.99 and 75% off. So I believe I ended up paying like $1.50 for these and I picked up probably maybe four of them. Um, I wanted to get more, but I don't I don't want to just be buying things just to buy them because they're a dollar or two dollars. Um, but I really try to think how I'm gonna use it. And these will be great. At Christmas time, I do a hot chocolate bar for my kids um, and I may do a hot cocoa bar at fall, I'm not sure. But these containers are great for that holding chocolate chips holding um, hot cocoa packets, um, things like that, marshmallows. And so I just couldn't leave these for a dollar and a half. They they were so cute. So I, I think I picked, out, picked up maybe four or five of these. So um, they're great. I picked up this large wooden scoop. This was so cute. So it was $25 with 75% off. I think I might've paid $5. So um, not using this for food, but it'll be um, some decor. Even if I don't use it in the fall, I'll bring it back out at spring time or summertime. Um, and it has a little leather um, strap attached to it. 
very pretty wood tones in here. Um, I thought this was very cute, so I picked that up. Also from the spring shop, I picked up this tray. I thought this was the cutest little tray. I'm sure I'll be using this in my fall decor um, and for other, in other seasons as well. So it was $17.99 and 75% off. Also in the spring shop, I picked up this little dish towel. It is black, gray, and cream. Look at this side, look at the bottom. And then there's a different print on this side. So this was $7.99 and again, 75% off. So I picked that up to use in my kitchen. And I don't want this video to be too long, but I do want to share with you all the things that I bought. This beaded um, rope was $9.99 and 40% um, off. So I picked that up. I'll use this likely in my fall decor, but also um, in spring. I also picked up from the spring shop sale, this wooden tray with three legs. I thought this was beautiful. It's very nice, it's light. This tray was originally $50 and um, I got it for 75% off. I love to use a tray um, in my kitchen, on my counters, on tables to display and group things when you use a tray. Um, it kind of helps your decor look more put together and not maybe sprawled all over the table. It just completes the look for me. Um, and so when I see a good tray for a good price, I grab it and this definitely was um, a great buy for. So also in the spring shop, there were, they had mugs and other kitchen items. And so I picked up two mugs um, in the spring shop. One was this cute cat mug. Look at that, is that not precious? Um, I picked this up for my daughter. She loves cats. We do not have a cat. She wants a cat, but we're not getting a cat. So uh, next best thing, cat mug. This was $9.99 and 75% off. So I grabbed that. It was like a dollar and something or $2. Um, and so these things make great stocking stuffers and great Christmas gifts. So I'll be saving that for her for Christmas. And then I picked up this Pokemon mug for my son. Again, this one was $19.99 and 75% off. But look at the back. Oh, this is a Pokeball and it actually spins. <laughs> and then you have Pikachu on the front. And so this was 75% off. So I grabbed that for my baby boy. Um, I think he'll enjoy that. So I have a couple more items to show you from Hobby Lobby. Um, one, I left this pumpkin out. But I got this little guy and I love him. He is made of, if I don't know if you can tell, but it's a burlap pumpkin and it's hard. So it's been covered, I don't know if it's a Mod Podge or something, um, but it is a burlap material. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's glitter all around it. It still is very natural. And then it has a brown stem up here at the top. And so this one was $12.99 and 40% off. So I think that is all I have for Hobby Lobby. And I did pick up just a few things from Home Goods that I wanna share with you. So the first thing that I bought from Home Goods is this glass jar. Um, I've been looking for a canister set to replace my canister set in my kitchen. And there was one at Kirkland's that I had my eye on that has been out of stock. It's not coming back into stock. And so I'm going to use these clear glass canisters. Um, and then I found these canisters actually at Target and they kept being out of stock. I went a couple of times to pick them up when they actually didn't have them. And so when I was in Home Goods last week, um, I saw these, which are the exact same size as the ones that I got from Target. Well, these were $6.99 a piece from Home Goods. Uh, and so the ones I got from Target finally came in. I purchased three of these from Home Goods, and the ones from Target finally came in, and they were like a dollar cheaper, like six dollars. Um, and so I have those. So now I have six jars like this of the same size. I'm not going to show you the ones from Target because it looks just like it. The top, the top piece is just different. So I. Uh, 
two other items from home goods and we're gonna wrap this video up i bought this ray dawn um little mermaid cup mug and look at ariel guys oh my goodness so this is was on clearance for eight dollars the original price was was 9.99 so if you know how much i love the little mermaid you would understand that i had to get this i don't have lots of radon items um here i really don't ha i have two actually because i purchased another mug like this that was um the princess and the frog with tiana and so when i saw ariel who is my absolute favorite the little mermaid is my favorite movie i can say every word sing every <laughs> song and so i had to pick this up and the inside is like a salmon salmon pink pinkish red like her hair and um it's not fall decor but found it when i was fall decor shopping and so um one more item and so the last item i picked up um at home goods was this um bead uh, and i have a couple of these garlands but this one had the raffia um, tassels on the end and I thought that would be very cute for fall um, they, and actually this was when I was checking out this was in the line you know how they get you when you get in line for to pay at places like home goods and TJ Maxx um, other things catch your eye and so I saw this one and grabbed it when I was in line so guys, that is it for my fall haul. I think that's quite enough. Uh, I had quite um, the haul and I am actually done buying things for fall. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. Have you purchased anything for fall? When are you planning to decorate for fall? It is so, so hot here in Georgia. We are just coming down out of the hundreds <laughs> into the 90s and then we're forecast to move to the high 80s next week um so it stays hot here quite a while um so i can't wait until it's cold to decorate for fall but i can uh, wait until it's not 99 degrees outside but i'm really itching to go ahead and decorate so i don't know how long i'm gonna last so let me know in the comments uh, when you decorate for fall what's your favorite um deal that you think that i got and just let me know just say hi in the comments so i look forward to hearing from you i thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you more in the future as we decorate um room by room for fall as we share some inspiration as we clean together we talk together all of the things um and so if you're interested i ask that you please uh click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and i look forward to seeing you bye